Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. In my life, I know that the clearest sense of mercy was experienced when I first realized I did wrong and there was a right to be punished. One time as a boy, I took my father's ring given to him by my grandfather. It had a diamond placed on an ebony backing with a golden L for Listecki. It was neat and I wanted to show it to my friends, to my classmates. I had no right to take it, but I knew that I would put it back. It was reckless and wrong, but junior high students are not noted for their prudence. When I returned home later that afternoon, I discovered that I had lost the ring. It was not only the value of the ring, which was very significant, but the memories attached to the ring, which embodied the spirit of my grandfather. Telling my father was one of the most difficult things I ever had to do. He had every right to impose a severe punishment, and I fully expected it. But my father could see how upset I was, and instead of punishing me, my father said, Son, I forgive you, but you must realize that the ring was to be yours as a connection to your grandfather and myself. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday, an opportunity to contemplate the great love of God, which is extended through his mercy, bestowed upon us by his son's suffering, death, and resurrection. Imagine what a sensation it must have been for the disciples in the locked room when Jesus appeared. Did they want to scream, to hide, or kneel and beg for forgiveness? Remember, these were his trusted disciples who abandoned him when he was crucified. Only John and the women remained with Jesus at the foot of the cross. They should have expected punishment, chastisement, but instead they were met with Jesus offering them, peace be with you. Jesus realized that peace can only come through an acknowledgement of our responsibility before God. In order to extend his mercy to the world, he gave us the sacrament of reconciliation. He commissioned the apostles as he breathed on them, giving them the Holy Spirit and the power to forgive sins. Divine Mercy Sunday is the great legacy of St. John Paul, who himself suffered publicly. An insignificant religious sister in Poland, Faustina Kowalska, followed the dictates of her spiritual director and becomes an instrument of God's mercy, spreading his love and mercy, particularly for the poor sinners of the world. Pope John Paul II knew that the world was in need of mercy, mercy that could only be achieved through the love of God and the forgiveness of sins. During this current pandemic has forced us to confront our fragile humanity, realizing our need to seek God's mercy. Today, it begins with all of us declaring, Jesus, I trust in you. Please join us tomorrow for another daily reflection. Be safe, healthy, and holy. God bless you.